Gunnersville. But when we first wake up tomorrow morning, well, those temperatures are going to be quite a lot colder, which is why you probably want to pack an extra three to five minutes on that morning commute so that you can get out to the car early and defrost and scrape that windshield because you will likely be waking up to some frost on it. What is that temperature? Well, 31 degrees. Now we'll have plenty of sunshine overhead, one or two clouds, and then full on sun later in the afternoon. But with 31 degrees and a slight breeze, you're definitely going to want to grab a jacket and maybe even some gloves as you head out the door. Now take a look at this statistic. Our high temperature on Monday, 47 degrees. The thing about 47, that should be our average low temperature for this time of year. But instead, it's our high temperature for tomorrow. Even with the sunshine, we'll be remaining quite cold. So prepare to have chili for lunch, bring the gloves with you to work, and then go home right after work and bundle up on the couch for the Christmas movie. Well, if 31 sounds cold, I hate to tell you what the rest of the week is going to look like. Here's your frost and freeze forecast. Now, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that's not an issue, but when you wake up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we are definitely in the freezing categories with hard freezes and frost very, very likely for all of us. So take this time to bring in any outdoor pets or plants and go ahead and weatherproof anything you have outside preparing for wake up temperatures in the 20s, both Tuesday and Wednesday mornings. Now, the interesting thing about that is by the time we get to our high temperature, we'll hardly remember the 20s at all. We'll sit at 52 on Tuesday Tuesday and then even warmer 59 on Wednesday. So probably one of those days you're going to want to dress in layers, heavier jackets and gloves in the morning and then just a light sweater in the afternoon. On Thursday, we're talking about full on sunshine and more mild wake up temperatures with a high in the low 60s, but we're reintroducing some rain Thursday night. And once we start that rain Thursday, it stays in our forecast for quite some time. This is one of our longest stretches of rain that we have seen in months. Now, nothing is looking severe at the moment, but these are all systems that I'm continuing to watch. So check back in with me several days this week and the rest of our team as we head closer to midweek so we can get you a more updated future radar look as that becomes available. 